In a previous video, we talked about the genitive plural of nouns and how we can break it into three manageable groups. Group one was nouns that end in a vowel sound. Now let's tackle group two. Uh, and if you'll bear with me, I often like to explain group two with a story. It might be a little silly, but it's worth it. I promise. Really. So Jacques was a farmer on the northern coast of France, not too far from England. He had a modest living from his farm, but he also had a side business. With contacts on English farms, he could get fine English cheeses, nice soft ones like this fine Wensleydale, and ship them out privately, avoiding all sorts of tariffs and taxes and so on. So they'd be really cheap. And all of his contacts were so glad that they would say, well, yay. Now this is important, so let's review. The name of the French farmer is Jacques. What does he get from his contacts in Britain? English cheese, of course. And what kind of cheese does he favor? Soft cheeses. Uh, what will he do with this? He will ship it for you. And uh, how much does it cost? It's cheap of course, and his enthusiastic customers say, yay. So, Jacques ships soft English cheese, cheap, yay. Now, what if we were to take the highlighted letters here and put the Cyrillic equivalents down there? What we have actually done now is to define group two for the genitive plural of Russian nouns. If your noun ends in any of these five letters, the genitive plural form will end in yay. Let's look at some examples. Mouge, mouge, grandash, grandache, tetrad, tetradie, slavar, slavarie. And do be sure to remove the soft sign since the letter ye here will show that the final consonant is soft. And also note that gender doesn't matter here at all. Slavar is masculine, tetrad is feminine, but they do get the same ending for the genitive plural. Plash, plashe, vrach, vrache. Now there are some nouns that do break the pattern, so you might try visualizing your favorite uncles and aunts, maybe your neighbors too, uh, if they aren't wonderful people, imagine that they are, so that you want to say yay when you see them as well. Because these common words, sosied, tiotia, dziadzia, also fall into group two. Now, they shouldn't, because they don't end in any of Jacques' special letters, but we do say sasedi, tiote, and dziade for the genitive plural. And let's remember that the words mat and doch add je er before any grammatical ending, so we'll have genitive plural forms machire and dachire. Summing up, remember that Jacques ships soft English cheese cheap, ye. And you'll always know that any noun ending in one of these five letters ends in ye in the genitive plural. Uh, and if a word ends in a soft sign, do remember to drop the soft sign when you add the ye.